Hey guys, I'm Nick from Nasty Nick's Motorsports. I'm gonna show you how to repair the threads in your jet ski engine. And if you're watching this video, you probably blew out your threads doing something and you're a little scared. Don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. This is not that hard to do. So in any case, you're gonna need a couple tools. You're gonna need a drill. You're gonna need a stainless Healy coil kit. Now you can get these from Amazon or pretty much anywhere. They're pretty easy to find. And then I recommend having a shop vac on hand and a dirty rag to cover the engine. That way, when the metal shavings get on, you can just toss the rag and you don't have to worry about getting anything in your engine. So what we have going on here, this is a Yamaha 701 engine that I came from my own ski. And what we had a problem with is that as we were installing the head, one of the threads blew out and you can see that it, it kind of goes in, but it's really wonky and it's not going to hold anything, you know, any kind of pressure or torque. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and drill this out and then install a helicoil. And to make sure that before you do this, you check the pitch on whatever bolt or what size you need. Now, this is an M8 by 1.25. This is going to be standard for pretty much any Yamaha engine. I believe it's also standard for the top head studs of a Kawasaki 650, 750, 800 and so on. So in any case, uh, we're going to go ahead and throw a rag over the top of the cylinder so none of the metal gets in there. And then we're going to drill that hole. All right, guys, we got this lined up. I got a nice dirty rag over the top of this engine. That way no metal shavings get in there. And we're going to go ahead and drill this hole. And you want to try to get this as straight as you possibly can. Now I go nice and slow because it's aluminum. Doesn't need a whole lot of pressure. Go real slow, real nice and easy. Pull it out. Okay, now we're good there. So now the next part is go ahead and take a shop back and suck out that material right there that just came out. All right, guys, we're gonna make sure we select the right tap, which is this one right here, and we're gonna go ahead and coat it in a little bit of motor oil. Now, this is very important so it doesn't get any kind of friction as it goes in and out of that hole. All right, guys, a firm grip. Go in there, and then we get that nice and straight. Apply a little bit of pressure. Just go nice and smooth. Make sure you keep it nice and straight. It's gonna bite really easy, especially going into aluminum. You just wanna make sure you give it a nice couple twists, and you're gonna go as far as that tap's gonna allow you to go. Now, be really careful when you're drilling this out for this, because if you drill it too far, you can go all the way through this hole, and it's gonna cause you all kinds of nightmare problems. So when you do the drilling, make sure you go really slow. So this part is pretty easy because the tap really can't go too far because it's going to get a point where it stops and you can just go ahead and back it out. So right now I'm still going. Nice and gentle. I might have to hit this carburetor if I had to end up taking the carb off. That would be something I have to do. The butterfly down. Okay, good. So you can see, taps all the way down. And now we just back it out. Nice and easy. And that's nice and done now. Right. We're going to go ahead and take that out. I can see the inside of that thing is now tapped for the pitch that we need to put the coil in. And you're going to go ahead and repeat what we did before and go ahead and suck it out with a vacuum. Okay. All right, guys, this is the tool you're gonna use. You're gonna go ahead and take the inside of the coil and you're just gonna insert this into that tab so it locks into it like this. And now you're gonna move over here, put it nice and uh, nice and steady and nice and straight. And we're gonna go ahead and turn that in gently. And you can see it just rotates in real easy. And then we're gonna go ahead and seat that down as far as we can go. Sometimes if you drill too far, the hole's too big, you might need two coils, but we're gonna go ahead. All right, you can see that's in there nice. And now the last part of this is that you just take this piece that goes in the hole and it's all this is a punch and you just push and what that is it knocks out the little tab inside there and that locks it into position and now you have new studs or sorry new threads um we're gonna go ahead and check our work now and as you can see this goes in nice and perfect and it's much it's much stronger now this will take torque and we're gonna go ahead and torque this head down to the required spec and now i highly suggest this rag you use to cover the holes just go ahead and toss it these things cause more problems than they solve you know when you have metal shavings in it so that's it. I hope this video was helpful. And uh, if you guys need any more help or you have any recommendations for videos, go ahead and throw them in the comments and uh, subscribe for more stuff like this. See?